Harmful algal blooms seem to be on the rise in North Carolina, and they pose a lot of challenges for water quality management and human health. The North Carolina Center for Coastal Algae, People, and Environment has the potential to benefit North Carolina's fishing economies, outdoor recreational economies, and tourism economies along the coastlines. The NCC Cape is made up of three projects. And this together with a community engagement core combines truly diverse expertises. One of the really exciting parts for our first project is that we're going out on the Palmico Sound. We abode, we dive, and we actually look and trace those algal booms and the toxins all the way into the sound and collect oysters and blue crab to test them for toxins. The second component is focused on understanding the mechanisms of long-term exposure to harmful algal blooms. This is looking at the potential for these toxins to cause liver cancer and understanding how they could be causing cancer as well as other toxicity. So my background is in computational modeling. I'm also the lead PI for project number three in NCC Cape, which is focusing on modeling cyanotoxin risks around the coastal area of North Carolina. I'm going to be using that skill set to try to predict the toxin risks, both spatially across the, the, the sounds and the estuaries of North Carolina, including areas where we don't have a lot of data. And then also looking at what the drivers are and trying to predict what those concentrations might be under various future conditions. My role is to be the community engagement coordinator, which means I figure out how and where and who to talk to in the state so that our interdisciplinary team of ecologists, engineers, veterinary medicine specialists, and epidemiologists know where their research could be best used. So each of the project has teams that will include both graduate students as well as undergraduate students. They will actually switch from one lab to the other and get some uh, training and learn how the other disciplines approach the same issue. One of the most important things for the science that we do, our trainees will become very literate in the language of different disciplines. And through this work we hope to provide confidence that harmful algal blooms are being treated seriously and that we will protect the public from potential concerns and that we'll manage um, water resources and manage watersheds in ways that reduce risks to residents and tourists alike.